Yadir Beno, Yadir Beno. November 14th, Janu, November 14th. Well, this is where I'm at with my grandson's uh, room right now. I'm just gonna put boards around these uh, doors. These doors, but now put some wood on there, and probably some one by fours or something. Varnish it or something. And then I got the, uh, the painting done and I got the ceiling. So the outlets hasn't gone in yet. I'm not really good with electricity, so I'll try my best. So, other than that, the uh, <coughs> room I got it looks good so far. He came in and looked at it last night. He said, Well, wow, wow, Grandpa, you did a really good job. We changed a two window to a one window. <coughs> I gotta put wood frame around that too to make it more half decent. So, and other than that, grandson's room looks a whole lot better than what it did before, so I'm gonna put wood planks in here, so that's what he wants. So, on ED, that's where we're at right now, so hopefully, uh, if he wants to, he can put his bed back in, because these electrical outlets, I can work around the bed. So, I don't table, he did, he'll probably put it right here for now and run electrical and tell him not to pull on the electrical cords unless he pulls them away from the outlet. So, and not. Uh, even the, the wall from that I painted it, so painted that white, eggshell white, so he's kind of tan. He wanted black, so I said, nah, black's not good for Indians. Black around you is like a bunch of evil souls around you, so you don't want to be in the dark of the snow yet. Black is not good, so. Hey, look, we're right here right now. I'm gonna eat a little bit and go do the laundry. And uh, we've got a, laundry, a lot of laundry to take care of, so. We'll, uh, we'll, see, you. we'll see you guys in a bit. Something from grandma. Good morning, my sonny. What do we have here, my sonny? Huh? Potato, eggs, and Potato, eggs, and fried bread. Fried bread. <laughs> good. We're going to eat something good this morning. All made by my sonny. Next time I'll show her how to do fried bread. Yeah, we'll put one of those aprons and dresses on you, my sonny. <laughs> you wanna say good morning? Good morning, good morning. Sunday morning, November 14th, 2021. This is Navajo Urban Day Street. Doing a vlog from the valley from my grandson's room. So, worked at my grandson's room yesterday, all day Saturday. I have plans to go up north to uh, Tuba City Scripture House, do some selling, but I had to get this done. So, we had to make plans, make changes. So. This is what we're doing right now. So, in the meantime, good morning, good happy Sunday morning. So, <clears throat> we're planning on going to Inscription House this Saturday. Sabado, the Moyeja, this coming Saturday. Inscription House, I'll be touching across the road. My wife made some more apron, bluebird aprons, and uh, she made more skirts, traditional skirts. Every time we go out there to uh, Inscription House area, we usually get a lot of people that want skirts, so get people from many places around that area. So mostly the elderly, elderly people that come around, they browse around through the skirts, and uh, that's how we sell them. So she made some new, she needs, she made some new ones. So, so that's where we're going this Saturday. If you want to come meet up over there, and we'll be glad to see you. Don't be shy. Don't be shy to say hi to us. So 
They're a pretty decent price. She's not really expensive because she's always looking forward towards the elderly because they're, they, they usually don't have that many funds, that much funds to buy buy stuff. So a lot of these other vendors uh, that we see out in flea markets everywhere, they price them too high. You know, uh, and my wife is just like making skirts and helping older folks on the rest. So that's what kind of a person she is. So she likes helping other people. So if you want to see her work, a lot of her just, uh, dresses are all double served. They're all searched. They're searched pretty good, so they won't unravel pretty easy. So, and some of them are like uh, the aprons are all double sided. Only if you are single sided. So she likes what she's doing. So Saturday will be up there selling. So Otto, let's uh, we didn't. We didn't get to go uh, go to the meet and greet in Tempe and Gallant because uh, we're so busy. We, we had other plans. Things change. So we had to go take care of the house up north on the res. And then uh, get going with NTUA housing over there on our electricity. So we have other things. So that's why we didn't go. We would love to go and uh, meet a lot of people up there. But it seems like there were a lot of people. They all have fun and uh, we we're just saying I wish we would have went though, but maybe next time. I guess these are big, uh, big gathering of uh, native tubers. That's going to be sponsored by Ayrton Austin and Jamonte Yazi. Next year, need got somewhere around June, July, August. So maybe that time I'll we'll sneak out there and see what's what's it's all about and see what we can do. So in the meantime, in our yeah for uh, subscribing hitting the like buttons, making all the comments on my blog. This is uh, going on my second year, January 1st, two years ago. I rolled out of this uh, car park with my little puppy, Max. And uh, he, I wanted to try and I told my wife, let me try and see what's going on, what's all this YouTube and stuff. And uh, we rolled out of here with my little puppy in the car on the, on the passenger side. And, we went to the doggy park with Nick Houston, Hathi Tsang, Lido Watso. After that, I enjoyed it. It's fun. And I watch a lot of YouTubers out there. I try to learn some stuff from them. So some of the people that we watch out there, uh, that we enjoy watching, and you, you learn from their videos and their content and what they do. So that what drive us keep going so and a lot of uh, our uh, a lot of our uh, youtubers that we watch it's uh, they're really good that makes us laugh and some of them have uh, now whole languages on them which is really good it's always good to see your own native language on TV which is good so I just like to name quite a few uh, youtubers that we watch all the time that while we have time to browse around on the tube is uh, Navajo Man and the Cobra Vape and the Twin Indians from uh, Porcupine, I think. And then the uh, my friend, Navajo, uh, American Navajo Patriot, and Benny from Rock Point. I like watching his uh, vlog. He's always ranching around with his cows and all kinds of stuff, helping the animals. They're really good. And uh, Just Me, Lori. And uh, we like watching how him and... Uh, I think he calls them Braxton or something. So no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. They haul bulls around. We love we love bulls. So we love watching rodeos too. So, and then the uh, lovely life out of Vegas and San Francisco. The lady takes care of uh, her mom, and she cleans around the house and do a lot of decluttering. We watch that too. They're always fun, especially watching Queen G riding around and uh, having fun with the kids and. That is, uh, with that, that, that's really nice to watch too. You have a daughter taking care of you, you all the time. That is really nice for her to do that. So shout out to, uh, the lovely life. So her and Jay are doing a real good job on Queen G. So 
Other than that is uh, Navajo Mommy. We watched that too. Christmas. What Would Kitty Do? We watched that. And uh, a brand new one is one of my friends too, Peter. Are you Pueblo? He's starting, and I haven't seen another one, and he's always fishing with his fun, with his son, so. Plus on top of that, Jerickson Hosting, Sierra Johnson, Jermonson, and uh, I just started to begin to watch one, one channel too. It's about a, a gentleman that teaches his kids, and uh, he's a church guy, and uh, he's a Navajo D dot A dot Y and Christ and if you ever want to learn about uh, the Bible or something like that I'll watch that his birthday was the other day so happy birthday to you and I watched the vlog and it was really pretty cool to watch him learn uh, learn something about the Lord I guess so either so I sat there during my lunch and I, and I read that and I learned something that day is a uh, he was talking about a sword. You believe that? A sword. And it turns out that sword is the Bible. So uh, made me think that he was telling me on the, watching him is uh, the sword cuts all the evil stuff off, off of you and the family and everything that is around you. So the sword was a Bible. So I'm watching him too. So learning a little bit. So I hope I stay on with him. So. Shout out to you for teaching me something that day. So, Otto, in the meantime, we're going to Inscription House this weekend, Saturday. After uh, we didn't go this weekend, we're so busy. So, Otto, this coming Saturday, we are going to Inscription House and uh, we're going to be taking more aprons. She made it, my wife made a lot of aprons. We're going to be taking more skirts, traditional skirts. Everybody's always looking for them. And then we have some other older inventories, which uh, my wife always puts them on discount. So that's what we like doing, going out to the flea market on the res. And uh, Friday's going to be pretty hard for me to beat Chuba City, but Saturday will be in the description house, which is by our house anyway. So it's on, not that far from Cal Springs. So it's a little ways drive, so which helps out. So after we get to our res house, we do what we need to do there. And, Saturday morning, we just pack up and go over there. By afternoon or something like that, we come back after we're done selling and work on our house again and take care of the puppies and head back. So, hey, now, thank you for watching my vlog. I really appreciate everybody that watches my vlog. Keep the thumbs up going. And I always have a couple people with them like that, but it don't bother me. It don't hurt me, but God bless them anyway. So. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, Sari, I'll be in the description house. So if you want to come by and say hi, we'll be glad to see you. Last time was fun. So when I met a lot of people in the description house. So, and uh, we'll see you guys in the description house. Until then, I shall uh, see you next time. Oh, I'm going to put a clip on all the aprons and the skirt that she made. So just let me know. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. So she said uh, she's going to try and sell some to somebody that people that want to buy through her Zelle. She has a Zelle account. So if you want to buy one or if you live here in town, you want to drive over and look at it and buy it before Saturday. She said it's okay. So just give us a comment and give me give us your email or whatever we'll try and get back with you before Saturday maybe fr before Friday because we had to back up by Friday anyway so so if you guys look at like what you see you want to make a comment and see what you can do to get it before Saturday just let us know and uh, we'll help you we'll help you some way somehow and we'll figure it out and uh, we shall do that so let's see what happens so people when they want to buy online or all that stuff over the phone. Sometimes it does not work. So that's why we like doing flea market, go person to person, talk to each other and make the transaction right there is a whole lot simpler. So Elon. So in the meantime, we will see you Saturday in the description house. You guys all have a good day. Ashin, Lana, thank you.
my wife told me to put some uh, aprons on uh, on YouTube and uh, I was doing that and I came upon this shirt this apron right there and I come to notice there's no strap no strap and then I took it off and I took it to my wife and said hey what's going on here person that's going to buy this, the lady that's going to buy this, is what, she, what, what are they going to do? Pin it on themselves or staple it on themselves or what's going on? And she started laughing. Oh my God. That's funny. So that was the oops moment of the day. Here, so. Oh, she'll take care of it and it'll be back up there. So thank you.